This is your super sweaty cardio bar and butt lift. By the end, you are going to be sweaty and burning definitely in those buns. I'm Action Jacqueline, and this is part of the Bar Booty Lift series that you can join absolutely free with the link down below in the description. And don't forget to tag me in your sweaty selfies like these ladies who are getting incredible transformative results with my workouts. Okay, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and let's get to the workout. Let's go ahead and get started. Put the booty band around your legs. This is gonna be circuit style, so we've got four different circuits. I'm gonna show you everything that we're doing, but your first move is going to be a hydrant lift like this with the booty band. If you don't have the band, it's okay. You'll still get an awesome workout. I've got the weights here for our next move. So go ahead and get yourself set up. 45 seconds on right here. I'm starting with my left leg and let's go. So right here, we're warming up those glutes. This is one of my most favorite glute exercises to activate those glute med muscles, external hip rotators, really, really good for strengthening and toning your glutes. Because sometimes those glutes can be a little sleepy, meaning they don't really know how to turn on. So this is a perfect one to start with. This is why it's your first workout here, or first exercise here of your workout. Good. So this is a circuit style. I'm gonna keep time on every move. And you get to just follow along and just promise me one thing is to just enjoy yourself the whole time, okay? That's all I ask, to have fun and smile along the way. Okay, the clams is next, so we're gonna lift up high and lower just like that. Knees open wide, lift the hips up, lift and lower, lift and lower. Good, so doing the hydrants to the clams like this, definitely it's challenging. Keep it up. Really getting into those outer glutes to really sculpt and chisel the booty. This is what really creates that definition. And then use that core. Of course the core is always working, so make sure that it's turned on, pulled in, ribs are down. You've got this. A little breather. We're gonna lower onto our backs for bridge. Keep the band right where it is and you're gonna do a little squeeze open up at the top. So you're gonna open, lower the hips down, lift open, lower the hips down. All right, hands are down, let's go. Open and lower, open and lower. You're gonna feel those glutes working. This is what it is. It's that booty lift that you want. We're doing it right here. And a strong booty is so good for healthy knees, healthy hips. So of course, all the aesthetic results are very rewarding, but we know that the real reward is keeping your body strong, resilient, healthy, and injury free, right? Keep going. All right, stand on up. Now this is your cardio move right here. We're gonna go down to a squat, lift, down and lift, down and lift. All right, so if you wanna add a little jump, you can. You can add that jump right here because this is how you can make it a little bit more high impact. And then if you wanna add a challenge with me, I'm gonna add a little heel lift at the bottom. Heel lift and lift, good pushing those knees out onto the band. So we're doing two rounds of this. Whew. Keep it going, you've got this. All right, take a breather. Now we're gonna do the hydrant on the other side. So we'll do all these moves now on the right leg. Take a nice big deep breath in. The body's warming up, getting into our workout. Let's go. Lift and lower, lift 
and lower. So make sure you're not totally rocking over to the side. Square off those shoulders and hips. Rest, come over to your side. It's always nice when you can kind of lay down in your workout. So we've got our clams. Next, pull up the ribs and the hips as much as possible. Okay, that's what's gonna really make this move effective is that lift to action there. And then of course you wanna lift the knee up as high as you can. And if the band's too much, just take it off. You don't need it. Always remember, one step at a time. Good, keep driving that knee up. I know you can do it. Keep driving it up, really activating the glutes, feeling the body getting stronger, even through the burn. That's a good sign. Good. And let's lower onto our back. Same thing, bridge with both legs. Press the palms into the floor. Give that little adduction on the top right there and then lower down. All right, here we go. And. Cause I've been running round in circles screaming out your name. Take me to a different place. Just the two of us and we can stay up all night. Under street lights, doing what we want to, doing what we need to do, staying up all night. Everything is alright. Oh, I wanna be with you. Oh, I wanna be with you. Let me be the someone who can hold your hand. I don't even know if you can understand how you make me feel. I got you in my head. All right, come on up. We've got our cardio move. This is the last move of your first round. And then we'll move into the next round. And we're gonna jump and then lift those heels up at the bottom. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Keep going, 15 seconds. This is where you really plug in. Don't fade out on me. Come on, give it all you got. Let's go, let's go. Last five seconds, see what you've got. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, you can finally take off that booty band. We're gonna go into a pretzel squeeze. So grab your weight right here. We're gonna put it underneath our right knee. And then we are going to squeeze it back around and pull it in, squeeze, and in. Just like that. I'll show you your next move in the next break, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. Squeeze, and in, squeeze, and in. Good, squeeze. So notice where I am with my upper body. I'm kind of perching myself up, almost like Little Mermaid on her rock. All right, so squeeze and in. You should feel the hamstring and the glute squeezing right there. Make that mind-body connection right here. Those are the muscles you're working. Try not to let any of the other muscles take over. Take that connection there. Activate it in your mind. Good, in a second we're gonna go on to all fours for our next move. All right, come on up. Keep the weight right where it is. See if you can balance it there. 
and we're gonna come down to the left elbow. We're gonna lift up into an attitude position. Keep it squeezed the whole time. Lift and lower, let's go. Lift and lower. So that booty is definitely already on fire from the booty band. So keep that same squeezing action here. That's why we did the presso first. So it'll really help you navigate this move and map out where those muscles are activated. So keep that squeeze, lower and lift. You've got it. Nice job, we're gonna stay right here and we're gonna take the leg, we're just gonna lift it up to the side and then bring it back in, okay? Similar to the hydrant, but now we're using the weight. There's a contraction here, so the muscle's working slightly differently and let's go up and lower, up and lower. Stay strong throughout the whole body, pressing into the elbow, pressing into the hand, lengthening through your spine. Good. Three, two, one. Take that weight out, come stand up. We're gonna do a single leg lunge back to a jump. So we're gonna lunge it back, little hop forward just like that, okay? Washing it all the way with our cardio. Let's go. Lower down and lift. Stay with me, keep doing it, you can do it. Stay strong, keep telling yourself how strong you really are. Whew. Don't cut yourself short, you can do it. Keep it up. All right, left leg, here we go. Right away, put the thing, the thing, the weight right into the left knee. We're gonna do pretzel the other side. You excited? Okay, here we go, squeeze and in. Squeeze and in. And if you're doing the whole bar booty lift series, oh my goodness, your booty is so chiseled defined and lifted. We got so many good booty exercises in the whole series. I'm just so excited for you to feel and see the results. Whew. A strong booty really is foundation for a strong, strong legs, strong hips, strong knees. Good, just a few more seconds here. Whew. I feel some shakes for sure. Three, two, one. All right, kneeling attitude, bonus points if you can keep the weight in the knee as you transition. And we're gonna lift up into that attitude, lower down, lift and lower. You can always put a little padding here for your knee if you need it. Here we go, lift, lower, lift and lower. So your goal here is to keep that weight there. If it falls out, then you know it's great feedback. You know that you lost that connection. So keep that connection there the whole time, squeezing the weight, using your hamstrings, your glutes. Whew. Part of the challenge, part of the work here is to keep going even when it gets tough, right? I mean, how many times do you have to do that in life? When it gets tough, you don't just sit back and just give up, right? No, you keep going. I know you're strong. All right, we're gonna go to the side now. 
in our little hydrant. So this is where you get to practice that. I truly believe what you do here, how you show up mentally on your mat, is how you're mentally showing up in the world, how you're, how you're really responding and reacting, because that's really all we have control over is how we respond to things. We don't have a lot of control over what happens to us. So how you get to control it and change the direction of your life is by reacting in the way that you want it to. Reacting positively, still giving yourself a high five no matter what. Whew, keep it going. We've got this and then we've got our lunge hops on the other side. Three, two, one, and rest. Good, take that weight out. Quickly come up to the top. You can make noises to get up, like me. Okay, shake it out. Let's wash it away with our lunges. Let's go, down and up. If it's too much to jump, you can make it low impact and just pull that knee right there, totally fine. Or you can add that hop for that extra challenge and burn. Definitely the balance, too. Last five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Okay, we're going back to all fours. We are doing a quick lower lift with the right leg. Lower lift, lower lift, okay? So we're gonna start with the right leg. You can come down to both elbows, and let's go. Tap, lift, tap, lift. So keep the heart rate going by making this move nice and quick. Up, down, up, down. Good. Up, and up, and up. But just because we're going quick doesn't mean that you compromise on your form. Okay, if you start to compromise on your form, just take the speed down a little bit. Readjust. Focus on keeping those hips down and square. Shoulders still, abs hold in. Last 10. All right, we're gonna stay right here. We're gonna do rainbows with our right leg. Tap to the side, tap to the cross. We're gonna make it kind of quick so it doesn't have to be super high. It's more about the speed on this one. Let's place the right hand down as well. So tap side, cross, side, and cross. your shoulders, your biceps. That's good, we want the whole body working here. Everything is connected. Three, two, one, and rest, good. All right, we're gonna quickly flip over for single leg bridge. So right heel is gonna go down, left leg is gonna reach up towards the sky, and we're gonna lift up and lower. You can cross here, that gives a little bit more support if you'd like to do that. Or you can keep the leg elevated. Really dig into the heel. Create that mind connection to the hamstring and glute. And I keep saying that because it can really fall asleep and you can start to put the work in other places, like your thighs, for instance. So really create that connection there with the hamstrings and glutes. Good. Whew. I know, I'm sweating, I'm out of breath. I hope you are too. Keep it up. Okay, come on up. We're gonna do saute 
our little plie to little susu. So plie, squeeze up, plie, squeeze up. So we're gonna go side to side like that. Okay, this is our cardio move. Plie, up, plie, and up. Nice, really find that balance there at the top. Plie, you can place the hands on the hips if that's easier, or on the shoulders. I like the shoulders because it keeps your chest lifted. Good. Whew. Let that heart rate come up. Feels good. Squeeze that booty up at the top. Squeeze, squeeze, good. All right, take a little breather. Let's go ahead and fold this up again if you didn't, if it wasn't folded. And we're gonna do the quick lifts on the other side. Left leg, here we go. And up, and up. Even though it's quick, you're still very intentional about where you place the foot. So you know exactly where it's going. You're tapping, lifting, tapping, lifting. So total control throughout the whole movement. And not too much rocking in the upper body. All right, upper body is perfectly still. Side to side, here we go. Whew. We've got our rainbow, so we're gonna tap side and back, side and back. So this is more about the quickness than the height. A little hot potato from one side to the other. Point the toe, keep the leg long while it's in the air. Press into the left hand to counterbalance the weight as the leg comes to the side. Use your core, good. Keep it up, you're doing amazing. And rest. All right, single leg bridge, left side. Whew, we are making our way through this workout. I'm so proud of you. This is just one of those workouts that really gets you sweating quickly. Let's go. You can come back to this again and again, and you just keep seeing more and more results every time. Dig into that left heel. And that's what I always provide with my workouts, is results. When you come to my workout, you just simply follow it, and you see results. It's as easy as that. We don't need to overcomplicate it or anything else. Good, lift, whew. I'm feeling this for sure. Whew. All right, we're gonna come up. We're gonna change up our cardio just a bit. So we're gonna stay in our second position but we're gonna do little saute jumps right here, okay? <sighs> Catch your breath. You've got this. So this is the high impact version. If you like low impact, just up on the toes, lower, up on the toes and lower, okay? Getting that heart rate up nice and high. Pointing those toes, using the whole leg. Great 
job. We've got one round left. Grab your weights. We're gonna do a little um, cool exercise here. I don't know what to call it, because I made it up. But you're gonna pull the left knee in. You're gonna extend, pull it in, extend. You can bend the standing leg. I recommend that you bend it for sure. Pull in and back, in and back. Good. So here, you're probably gonna wanna round. This is a real good test of your posture. I want you to actually give a little back bend here. So feel the back lifting, the chest lifting. Good. See if you can lengthen through the chest. Woo! You've got this. And take a break, good. Whew. We are getting there, so close. Just dig in. Whatever you got, this is the time. This is the time to do it. Okay, we're gonna go to the side now. And lift and lower. Same position. Just lift the leg, lower the leg. Tiny little bend in the standing leg, don't forget that. And then you're gonna feel both of those glute muscles, both of those cheeks there. Definitely working like crazy. Mine are on fire. How are yours? Probably pretty much the same. Okay, good, good. it up good all right we're gonna stay standing for this next one we're gonna do lifts with the back leg standing leg is slightly bent and we're gonna pull the knee up and we're gonna extend long with the arms so you get a little arm bonus here and lift pull in and lift good in and lift Whew. keep it up Standing leg tends to get a lot of work, so if you're feeling it more there, that is perfectly normal. It's actually a good thing. And rest, good. So put the weights down. We're gonna do a side coupe jump. So this is our cardio. So we're gonna go side to side, just like this, okay? Little hop in the middle. The challenge is the balance here, right? To catch yourself. Woo! So good for a balance, so. See if you can get up, over, up, over. A little coupe back. All right, we are in our final, final round right here. Let's do this, switch sides. Hands are on the floor, on the weights. Bending both of those knees to get started. Here we go, pull the knee in and extend. So I did the left leg before, now I'm on my right leg. In and out. Remember this is a, a test of your posture. So lift the chest up. Bend the standing leg more if you need to. A little back bend. Would you give me time to give it all to you? Give it all to you. Let me give it all to you. Wanna give it all to you. Oh, 
they bounce there, so that's good. Let's take a little break. Next one's gonna be the side one. Just three more exercises to go. Whew. Okay, hands down. And just think of how accomplished you're gonna feel. It's amazing how a workout can really change your day, your week, your month. It's pretty crazy, right? Maybe you're starting your day with this workout and then your whole day becomes more positive, just better in every single way. Yes, you can. Keep going. I've been fighting everything you say. I've been trying to go the other way, but I can't. All right, grab those weights, stand on up. Arms are going up overhead as the leg lifts. Take a deep breath. Just two more exercises. Let's go. Okay, this is it. Final move. Put it all out there on the dance floor, as I say. Just leave it out there. Don't hold anything back. Anything you've got, better posture, higher jumps. I want you to just give it your all. Point your toes. Nice, light, airy feeling through your body. And just let yourself have fun. I get so many DMs saying, I get to dance again with your videos and just let yourself be playful, fun, unattached, maybe smile. Almost there. You are done. Oh my goodness, feels so good, right? Big virtual high five. You did it, big high five for you. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can keep creating videos like this for you. And if you're ready to transform your body in just four weeks, then download my app starting risk-free for seven days. The link is down below and I'll see you in the next workout. Bye.